Hello, Miguel from Grumo here, and I'm going to show you a new app that I built with a Glide. That means that I built it without coding, and it's called Decider. It will help you make group decisions much easier. And the way it works is you can create as many decisions as you want to, and then, uh, let's say, for example, you want to choose a new office couch. You can have as many options as you want to as the possible options to choose from, and then, then you will have different variables for each uh, option. Uh, in this case, we're just going to choose whether we like the couch or not that we're looking at from one to five, right? So let's just start. And then you would say you like this couch and look at all the different options, right? And then at the end, uh, you would get the option with the uh, most points, right? So in this case, it would be the black couch. Now, if you want to make a group decision, let's say that you're in a company or you want to get input from your family, then you would do is simply invite them and then they would enter an invitation code and then they could also help you make a choice. So now let's go into the Glide editor. And again, Glide is a platform that allows you to create apps or software without coding. And it's really, really cool the level of complexity of software you can create and how easy it is to create. So everything that you see in this app was created with Glide. Now, let's say that I pretend to be logged in as somebody else that is going to help me make a decision as to the office couch. And when I say office couch, it could be any kind of decision, uh, like a product name or a, your newborn's name or something like that, right? Uh, so in this case, this person has been invited, Alan, and is going to join the decision and is going to enter the code to join this group decision. And as soon as he joins, he'll be able to start also giving his input. And then this will be uh, added up. So we'll be able to see as a group, which one is the top choice, right? So right now, uh, for him, for Alan, the top choice is the black couch. But when we go back, we'll see that there is two top choices. One is the person on top choice for Alan, and then the overall top choice for all the people that have participated in this case, two people, right? Now, this is a relatively simple decision to make. Basically, you just ask people whether they like or not the options that you're giving them. Uh, but let's say there is mo more of a complex decision, like choosing a product name. Now, choosing a product name could be very complex. I would argue even more complex or difficult sometimes than choosing your, your kids' names because there's many variables to take into account. And this is where Decider is going to shine, to make multiple variable decisions as a group, right? So let's just... Uh, you know, join this decision again. Uh, let's pretend that we we were invited and we were given the code to access uh, this decision, and then we can start. Now you'll be you'll be see that there is uh, in this case five possible names for this product that we're going to launch, and then we're going to be asked to rate each name, each potential product name based on six different criteria, which are typical for, for names. In this case, uh, whether the name is short, whether it's easy to spell, whether you can own the top level domain or not, whether it captures the brand's essence, and whether it's unique. Uh, so there is no other names that have uh, already registered similar trademark, right? Uh, so you can do that for all the different available names, right? And once you're uh, done, you'll see the top choice for you, Okay, and in this case, so if there are more than one option that have the same amount of the points, they'll show up here as a uh, tied. And of course, now when you invite more people as the um, creator of the decision, you can invite more people, then all the points will be added and you'll get the overall top choice. And again, you can do that for any kind of decisions. If you want to choose the name of your firstborn or one of your kids, you can add as many options as you want to. And then that will help you make a choice as a group. Now, the way you create new choices, uh, when you log in, you simply click the plus button and then you enter the title, description, you can have images, and then the type of rating, whether for each variable, you're gonna have a yes or no possible answer, one, two, three, or one, two, five. The way that works, uh, for example, let's say that uh, under product uh, names, if we go to start, you can see now the way we can rate each variable is with yes or no, but if we go to the actual decision and we edit uh, the rating type and we say one, from one to five, and we click start, now you can see that each variable needs to be rated from one to five. This is, gives you more 
uh, accurate way of grading each possible variable, right? Now, if you want to add more options, all you have to do is simply edit the decision. And then uh, once you've, I mean, here's all the criteria. In this case, there is six different criteria. That's the maximum of criteria you can use uh, per option. And then you here you have all the options. You can edit the options by just clicking on the actual option. And the options can either be uh, text or they can also be an image, like when I showed you choosing a couch, right? And then you can click on add new options, as many options as you want to for this decision. So pretty straightforward how it works, but I find that for some decisions, uh, this tool could be very, very useful. So you can own this glide template if you go to groomo.com slash decider and then you'll get 50% discount to get this temp template right away. Then you, you'll be able to use this template, modify it and see how the backend works and um, modify the colors or the names or everything that you want to, uh, whichever uh, way you prefer. And if you want to learn how to build apps like this without coding using Glide, uh, check out my course at grumo.com slash go glide where i cover absolutely everything that you need to know in order to be able to use glide to create really cool apps like this one and that's all thanks for watching bye bye